Hey folks, welcome to another How to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do binomial distributions on this particular graphics calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so having a look at this question first, what we need to do is we actually need to get all the important information from this question before we actually start inputting this in the calculator. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is there's a 40% chance of winning. So we're going to put the probability as 0 0.4. Next, we have, they actually play 10 rounds. So that's number of trials is equal to 10. And if we look at question A, we are looking for the probability of winning exactly four rounds. So that means probability of X is equal to four. So. To do this on the graphics calculator, what we're going to do is click on menu. Actually, switching it on would help. Uh, then we're going to click on menu. We're going to go into the stat mode. And obviously, I've done some work here before, so we're just going to exit and go all the way right to the beginning of the stat mode. We're going to click on distribution, which is F5. Then we're going to click on binomial, which is also F5. And for these questions, we're going to use BPD, which is in F1. So we're going to click on that and make sure that we choose variable and not list. We're going to go down to X, which is what the, in this case, it was winning exactly four rounds. So X is equal to four. Then our number of trials is equal to 10. And then the probability of success in this case is 0 0.4. Go down to execute, or you could actually just press EXE straight away and you are going to get 0.2508 as the probability. Now, once again, with uh, the binomial distribution, I'm gonna leave the probability in uh, four decimal places. Now, looking at question B, if they win exactly four rounds, that means they've actually lost six rounds. So the probability for question B should be the same for us. However, the, the important part that we need to remember is that the probability of winning is 0.4. So we kind of need to figure out what the probability of losing is first. So in this case, for probability for losing is going to be 1 minus 0 0.4, which is 0 0.6. And then we're looking at exactly six rounds, which means we're looking for the probability of losing six rounds. But notice how the probability has actually changed to 0 0.6, because now we're looking at losing exactly six rounds. So we're going to go back into, now do this again, main menu, go into stat mode, click on distribution, which is F5, click on binomial, which is F5, and we're going to go to BPD. So remember that our X is now, we're looking at question two, which is losing six rounds. So that means we're going to change X to six. They're still playing 10 games, but the probability of losing is 0 0.6. So we need to change that here. And when we do that and press EXE, we should get the same probability, which is 0 0.2508. And folks, I just wanted to show you folks that um, you could actually do with binomial distribution, you could actually look at both success or failure. And that's what these two questions actually do. They show you both the probability of success and failure. And with that folks, that pretty much covers how to do binomial distribution for finding exactly uh, the X values on this particular graphics calculator. Now stay tuned as in the next video we'll be looking at for cumulative version of the binomial distribution.